he's behind it. Oh. Got him. There he is. Oh. Fishing in Victoria in winter, it's tough. I mean, it's tough, tough everywhere in winter. So when you're going out, you're really only looking to catch a couple of fish, one or two fish. So it's very important that you're consistent, you're very efficient, um, you don't become irrational because ultimately it only takes one or two takes to make your day. So I'm gonna jump out here on Newland and try and catch a brown trout. So before I was actually wading out wide beyond this water and I saw a fish bust up twice on some galaxia or smelt or fry or something and just popped back into rolled around walked back upwind just make a few casts in here just to see because it's all about finding that one aggressive fish you just need to find one if you find one that's just charging around he wants to eat and you get your fly in front of him you're probably going to catch him so it's worth spending the time on these fish just because if you can find them it makes life easy and they just eat it one thing i actually say this is probably a really handy thing for me to pass on i love beaded flies in winter at times like this why because i think so often the plop helps you i'd much rather fish beaded flies than unweighted flies because you make the cast out there if the fish are in the weed or they're a little bit deeper and they hear the pop look up and then they see your streamer or your fly darting away they're far more likely to eat it if you're fishing an unweighted fly in windy conditions and it lands i mean do they hear it do they see it i don't know but definitely find they respond to that plop of the bead so often it goes plop and then whack, you've got one. I just saw one bow wave up in here. So I've come racing over. He was in so tight. Oh, there he was. He was behind the flies. See the big boil there. Oh, gosh. Can't catch a trick today. That was a fascinating start because I just worked through some wider water out there and then I went shallow because I saw one bust up on some bait. And when I went shallow, I found, I saw three fish in like tight, tight on the bank. I had one up behind the flies. I spooked the other with my fly line landing on him when I didn't know he was there. And then I saw the other one cruise away when I walked over the top of him because I didn't expect to see one there. been waiting for I've just seen a fish come charging through oh buggy was behind the fly there too oh gosh it's cruel it can be so cruel man he was in shallow when you hit when you find a fish like that that was cruising in here and he didn't pop up for a little while and I had no idea where to cast so what I did then to get him to come to the flies was pretty much hit the weed pocket hit the clear water where you can get a good presentation don't try and cast over the top of the weed and I did that and he came charging for it but sadly I pulled into the weed pocket so dang it so I haven't seen any fish up shallow for about half an hour or so so I've just come down and I'm just peppering some weed pockets, some just holes in the weed, just because I don't want to spend too much time. Oh, see that fish though down there. I don't want to spend too much time like walking and not fishing. This is such a central Victorian style day. There's one. Got him. Oh, he's off. No. Gosh. Ah, oh, bugger. He ate that straight away. Gosh.
he's behind it. Oh, got him. There he is. Oh. Well, I did the whole circle of the lake. That's a nice brown. Did the whole circle of the lake. Had a few chances it didn't come off. And then come into the lee shore, see a couple of rising fish, and uh, just waited for one to rise in front of me. And there he is. That's a really nice brown. That's so funny, midging rising fish. Everyone says they have this fly or that fly that they like. But I normally just chuck whatever you've got on at them. And if you get the presentation right, they normally eat it. Come here, that's a nice brown. Oh, strong brown trout. On the top dropper, which is just an olive damsel with a gold bead. Come here, mate. Come on, buddy. There he is. There's my other flies crawling on a rock. On a rock. Oh, what a fat fish that is. <laughs> he is an absolute ripper. It's time to let this guy go. Oh, there we go. There's another one out there too. Geez, that would go close. I was a bit delayed, got him. Oh. Another rising fish falls to a streamer. Oh. This one's eating the black streamer on the point. Cool little lake, Nyon. Very cool place. It's another really nice conditioned fish. Come here, mate. Ah, oh, he's popped off there, but that's okay. Well, I think that's my little session done. That guy just ate this little guy. Well, that little session probably perfectly captures what winter lake fishing is like. It's not easy, you have to work quite hard. I did pretty much, a, I fished a, almost a whole lap of the lake, fished bits, walked bits, and I pretty much bumped into fish everywhere around it. And I had four takes for the day, and uh, landed the one really nice fish, that one came off there, so, not too bad, winter lake fishing, it's worth a look. Hopefully this shows you that there are really nice fish to catch when you do get them. So, hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks guys.